to you 503, a family, a police department, and a community in mourning in a show of support. Fellow officers from across the state lined the streets as the body of Euclid police officer Jacob Durbin was transported from the medical examiner's office and passed the Euclid police department to a funeral home. This just the first of many somber moments ahead of officer Durbin's funeral set for this weekend. First responders and community members are remembering fallen Euclid police officer Jacob Durbin. And our Candace Hare is live from Euclid where there's a memorial that continues to grow. Good morning, Candace. Good morning. Yes, I am here outside of the Euclid Police Department, and that is because this is where this memorial lies. I want to give you a look at it here behind me. It has gotten bigger and bigger over the last couple of days. You can see there are flowers there. There are some candles as well, blue ribbons all around the police department in honor of Officer Jacob Durbin. This is just one way that Officer Durbin is being honored by community members. Last night, there was a memorial service at the Greater Cleveland Peace Officers Memorial. Some of those in attendance told us it was refreshing to see how many community members came together in order to honor Officer Durbin. Among those in attendance were Durbin's cousins. We miss him dearly, but we want to keep his memory alive for everybody else. Now this afternoon, the Cleveland firefighters are holding a walk in honor of Officer Durbin. That is set to begin at 1.30 p.m. at Upper Edgewater Park. It will end at the Cleveland Firefighters Memorial. Danita. All right, Candace, flowers, candles, and lots of prayers going out to his family and friends. Thank you.